Set up a normal size pitch that's appropriate for the size and number of players that you have and split the pitch into thirds using cones or flat discs if you have them. Split the groups into equal teams. If you have uneven numbers, use a floating player that plays for whatever team has possession of the ball. Play a normal game, but the rule is that you must play through the thirds. You can do this by passing into the next third or dribbling into the next third. Both are allowed, but the ball must travel through each third of the pitch when you're attacking. Once the players have got comfortable with used to this, add in the progression that to progress they must play from the goalkeeper when they win the ball and they must play through every third. So if they win the ball in midfield, they must go back to the goalkeeper and start to build up play from their defensive third every time. You may want to put in, if they win the ball in the final third with a high press, then they can score straight away. But if they win it in midfield or defence, they have to go back to the goalkeeper and start to build up their play again. When working with the players on how to get better at this, make sure they're spreading out as a team by creating width and depth. So when they've got the ball, they should have players in every third of the pitch to give forward passing options and make sure they're spread out and creating space. When you have possession of the ball, look to play forward when you can. It's really important that they look to either pass forward or drive into space that opponents have left. And finally, be patient and don't force the attack. If you can't go forward, relax on the ball and keep possession. If you can't go forward, go sideways. If you can't go sideways, go backwards. But make sure you try as your best to maintain possession in the practice.